Hello and welcome to your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in Westbridge Hills. Is that what it is? Yeah, this is Westbridge Hills. Derp, 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 derp. Uh, we're bringing our lizard semi, our poorly modeled lizard semi. It has modeling issues. It's not as purdy as what you can get. Yeah, y'all pointed it out. I know that, but it's not, the, it's not the point, man. It's not the point. Okay, we're gonna need that thing. All right, what are we here for? Get that pink hagen stat off there. Uh, we are here for some mods, some awesome mods. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. All right, what are they? Well, they're all in, well, no, they're not. Some of them are in tempers. I also need to bring a tractor, but I forgot a tractor. <laughs> we have a corn husker, 800. Uh, in calls, all kinds of stuff, apparently. $20 a day, $50,000, so let's buy that. The cane grain trailer pack. There's the grain trailer here. It is 18 foot by 18, two, 16, five. Um, it takes chaff, silage, all kinds of stuff. The one thing I noticed right off the bat it doesn't take is forage. Just be aware of that. Uh, 14, five for this one. There is a classic silage trailer. This takes grass and chaff only, okay. Uh, 18,750, so it's a larger trailer. Cool. We have a half pipe trailer, which apparently means I also need to go buy a snowboard. Um, 24,000 with sides, 18,500 with outsides. Uh, a huge amount of stuff. Again, no forage, just be aware of that, but it has everything else. 20,500. Woohoo, we'll buy that. We have the Merit Heritage. So we have a Merit Heritage. It's got 1,400 bushels. I think that's 14,000 liter. Oh, wait. 49,000. 49,344 liters of whatever. Um, it doesn't really tell us what exactly. Hmm. I don't like it when they don't actually give you all the fruits that it takes, but whatever. Uh, so they have the Heritage, and they're all 25,000. So $70 a day maintenance. So they have the Heritage. We'll buy that. They have the Heritage Black, and they have the Heritage Without Chrome, Cool Beans and Chips. All right, so those are all of those mods, and that's not the end of this story today. We're going to go over to, like, the extra storage spot for trailers, apparently, is Bailing Tech. <laughs> There's a 48-foot Mac Step Deck, 43.5. This is a transporting trailer of some description. We're going to find out about it and buy that. There is a 50-foot utility flatbed for 16000 That means it's cheaper than the 48-foot Mac. We'll find out if there's a reason for that here in a moment. Buy that. There it is. And we're still not done. <laughs> in MISC, this is like all semi-trucks today. Is it in MISC? No, it's not in MISC. Uh, there it is. It's in the missing subcategory section. It's a mobile utility deck. So it's a flatbed. It's a $400 a day of maintenance. Just be aware of that. We're talking some pretty hefty maintenance costs here. $47,000 to buy, but it has all kinds of goodies here for refilling. So let's buy that guy. There it is. All right, that should be everything. Woof. Why is that flashing? Stop your flashing. Nobody asked you to flash. All right, I do need a tractor. I'll get one in a bit. Here is our corn husker. She's a bee. All right. Uh, ooh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, we'll deal with that in a minute, too. All right, so we can walk all the way through our corn husker. That's kind of... I don't... I'm sad. That saddens me. All right, so it's it's got massive, massive clipping issues. Yay. Um, other than that, and the blinking light thing is kind of weird. That looks fine from here. All right, so let's talk about the canes. Um, these are from NI Modding, so you can imagine I'm expecting some high quality from these guys. And it looks like they're delivering on the clipping as per usual. Um, other than my derping with a couple of, it, of NI Modding stuff, I haven't really found ones that are terrible. Okay. Um, oh, this is a half pipe. Oh, I see what they're... Oh, oh, let me put back up on there. Okay, yeah, it does. It looks more like a half pipe than um, the others. 
Need to buy a snowboard. Okay. Um, here are the merits. The three merits. Uh, that one's no chrome. This one's clearly it has any chrome either. Oh, I bet you it's the wheels. All right. Um, oh. Now we can kind of peek inside. All right. So, okay. So then there's that, that, and then... Yep, I was right. It was the wheels. Chrome wheels. No chrome wheels. Chrome can be a serious leg problem. So if, you, if you're experiencing a lot of leg with mods, check your mods for chrome. If they've got a lot of chrome, get rid of them. Or in this case, they've, off, they've given you an option, a one without chrome on it, um, and choose that. Because chrome, because of the way it models within farming sim within the giant engine, can cause some serious leg. Okay, so here are the flatbeds. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That's annoying. Uh, we'll have to figure out how to fix that in a little bit. All right, let's get our lizard truck. Some of you might be asking, well, why aren't you using the, um, the award winner from last season, the, uh, the Actros or the Kenworth? Well, the reason I'm not is, um, honestly, pure laziness. I could have bought it, but I didn't. Uh... All right, let's go over here. Uh, I could I could certainly go get them, but I want to use this lizard truck because a lot of a lot of people are going to be using the lizard truck. Um, go. All right, so we got our trailer. Trailer looks good. Oh, look, you can refuel at the the ma magic clipped in trailer. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Get around, get around the corner. Now, of course, the one thing that some people, a lot of people will love about this trailer is because it is all clip, I can do that and not care. And and I know there's a lot of people that they love the fact that people don't put any clipping on their trailers because then they can drive through things. Well, seriously, just learn how to drive. Ha! Huh. He says laughing because he can't drive for crap, but I can still manage just fine in the game. All right, let's run down here. So this one, this corn husker, I'm, I'm kind of frowny faced at because um, you can clip all the way through it, but let's see uh, what it looks like filling. Well, it looks good, yeah. Well, okay, it looks mostly good. Here's the thing, what, I, I, would, I would love for them to have modeled that when I'm up front, I'm filling the front part, but I can understand why they didn't. Yeah, that looks good. It just keeps going and going and going. It is a lot of leaders. It would help if my silo was faster. Let's see, is there any? Aha! Ha. Okay. I have support up and cap off. So we're gonna fill this guy up and then we're gonna figure out what those buttons do. Uh, oh my good grief. All right, you better be filled up by the time this truck gets us out of here. <laughs> you will be, because the truck is crap. All right, there we go. All right, support up, X. Support down. Oh, that support, okay. Now, what if I put the support up? Oh, interesting. So I have to actually remember what that, okay, that's nice. All right, cap on and off. So there's on, there's off. On, off. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, cool. All right, let's, um, so this is a belly unloader. So we'll swing around and we'll have this guy unload for us. Oh, God. Just semi. Uh, oh, I guess we could, oh, well, let's unload it first and we'll find out our dry weight. Up. Yeah, look at that. And it unloads nice and fast. Look at how fast it's unloading. I like that. Yeah, sweet. All right, let's back this guy up. We're going to find out how much we we're running when we're empty. And we'll go get the other trailer. Actually, I'm going to reset the other trailer, so there's really no point in me driving all the way up there to get them. All right, you are a... One ton trailer. Huh. Okay. 
All right, let's get our other trailers. Is that deck? This will also get, hopefully, hopefully, we'll get these trailers out of the ground so I can actually use them. All right. I actually only need one of these merits back here, so I don't know why I'm resetting all of them. Okay. All right. So, everybody, oh, good. They came out of the ground. Excellent. Kind of a bummer that they come in in the ground. I'm not really a fan of that because if you're playing like, oops, Oh, well, I didn't put the thingies out, so whatever. Um, if you're playing like I am on Red Hill where you don't allow resets, well, now you've you've done knackered it right from the beginning. But um, this merit here. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go truck, go truck. Oh, my goodness, we're going to buy that kind of pretty soon. <laughs> Oopsie. Wheel. What have I done now? Oh, that's cute. Well, that's new. Done? Are we done with the fit? Uh, that was my fault. It was not the fault of the mod. It wasn't a fault of anything but me because rubbish at driving. And we know this. There we go. All right, come on. There. All right, key X, sharp open. Well, now that I've opened it, how do I close it? Oh, okay, we just crashed. Well, sweet possum traps. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back after I, after I reset this booger. All right, so we're back. Um, I didn't even bother to get so far as, uh, going very far there. Okay, let's start this guy back. Uh, all right, so I've been, I've been busy on this farm, you will notice various fields bought and plowed and tilled. And the reason is, quite simply, then I have I have uh, things. I have stuff. Uh, words. Words have escaped me. Let's just buy our stuff. Alright, we already did the corn husker, so we're going to ignore that. Let's buy these cane trailers. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid thing. Buy just the chrome one, non-chromed one. Go over to oops, Bailing Tech. Get our max step. Do that as well. Max step, yeah. Good. All right, and then oops, the utility deck. All right, I'm suspicious of those ones because they took for a, they took a bit to buy, but um, let's get rid of the tractor so I can actually see everybody. Set all of these back. It was really annoying that it crashed like that. I don't know whether it crashed because of that weirdness when I did a poor job of backing up or what. All right, everybody's here. Hello, everybody. How's it going? All right. All right, I'm going to skip that one for just... Well, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it because if we crash again, then... Yeah. All right. Be gentle. Got it. All right, so we've got it on board. Can truck drive? Okay, so it's crashed again. All right. Interesting. Yeah, we'll be right back again. And we're back. <laughs> How about that? Just a moment for you. All right, we're... We're gonna do we're gonna do some a little bit different this time. I'm gonna buy. Alright, we're gonna go. Where is, oh no, it's not in there. Okay, it's tippers. I'm going to buy that same trailer, but I'm just gonna buy. I, mean, I don't care which one I buy. I'm gonna buy one of them. And then, just because I'm curious, we're gonna buy the Kenworth K1. Eh, 
Yeah, I was about a K100, because I think I got the Actros out of here for whatever reason. Who knows why? All right. Plan, and there we go. All right. So, um, my curiosity is, very simply, that maybe that lizard truck has a problem. Not necessarily that Giant has a problem with it, but that the modeling done when they when they built the lizard might actually cause a problem for this Merit trailer. So we're going to try with a with a mod truck that has, to date, been a pretty consistent truck. All right, we're hooked up. Crashed. Okay, so that trailer is a problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart the game again, but this time I'm gonna check my log file as well. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back again. Um, so what was going on in my log file? Well, a lot actually. Um, it was getting stuck in the input binding loop. When I first hooked up the very first time, and I hit X, nothing happened. Or it did. It flashed really fast, if you remember. Um, and then it, it stopped working. And I'm not sure if that is what did it. But at this point, it is looping in the Lua script, trying to, to establish an input binding. The problem is I go and look at my input bindings, and it's clean. Like, before I started this season, I... I deleted my input binding XML, and that causes Giant uh, when you when you boot up the game, it causes Farming Simulator to recreate the input binding based on your mods, and then it adds more input bindings as you put in more mods. So the input bindings are clean. The only thing in there is the um, is the input bindings for the in-game stuff, like unfolding cultivators and things like that. So there's nothing weird or odd or strange in the input bindings, but that Lua script is just getting stuck in a continuous loop. So um, be aware of the Merit trailers. It might work on your machine because you might not have the input binding problem. It doesn't work on my machine, so boo, unfortunately. Um, the corn husker, you can clip all the way through it, but it works. So that's good. All right, so let's deal with the other trailers because we had more than just those two trailers all right so we had our cane trailers so we can buy uh, a bunch of cane trailers uh, let's go over to the bale trailers we're gonna buy all this stuff again because you haven't watched me buy this enough like that I'm really suspicious of these of these flatbeds and stuff that are taking a while to buy. That always concerns me because that means there's something running. All right, let's get tractors. Set everybody. Come on, there we go. Woo, everybody's here. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just get in the lizard. Room. All right, let's go, Lizard. I don't know. A lot of people don't like the Lizard because it's not a real truck by any stretch of the imagination. It's got. It looks like it's been cobbled together from bits and bobs off of a bunch of different U.S. manufacturers. But you know what? It is what it is. All right, so we've hooked up. We can move. Uh, unfold the type description. That's going to be interesting. Okay. All right. So here we go. We've got this. Now let's see how much this trailer weighs. To do that, we're just going to swing around here. Now when I hit this with the rig, the rig will go up to eight. I should be able to get the trailer. Yeah, it looks like the trailer is five tons. Can't drive. 
Yeah, it looks like we're a five-ton trailer because it was thir it flashed 13 when I when it briefly registered both both of them. Yep, 5.19. So it's a five-ton trailer. All right, hit X. <laughs> what am I folding and unfolding? I don't see what I'm folding and unfolding. I've got no clue. I ain't got a clue. All right. However, if I pull this guy out here, stop there. Um, you can just stay. Yeah, you're fine. Let's take this guy here. Now I should be able to grab this uh, sprayer that we did last time. It shouldn't be full, if I remember correctly. I hope it's not full, or we're going to go make it not full. Nope, it's not full full. It's pretty full, but not all the way. Good. All right. So I should be able to pull up to either side. I can refill my tractor. That's good. And I can refill my sprayer. Look at that. So we can do it from that side. Now can we do it from the other side? I'm pretty sure we can. Yep, refill sprayer, refuel. All right, so we got fuel, we've got sprayer. Looks like we got fertilizer, because fertilizer would be here as well. And we've got seeds. Sweet. Now, yeah, it's kind of a, an expensive piece of equipment to have when you think about it. it cost me four hundred dollars a day and forty six thousand. But if you have some of these big fields. I just figured out what that fold is for. X. Nope, I didn't. Did we? Don't go into the ground, you silly thing. All right, well, whatever. Um, if you're, if you've got a big field, I mean, if you're out here working this field, say, or over here. You can have this trailer parked out there, and then you've got a refill. Think about Kansas and how spread out Kansas was. A trailer like this will come in handy, allowing you to, to run out and fill. Um, the hook lift pack will do the same, but remember, the hook lift pack will only fill seeds and fertilizer. No, fertilizer and spray, whatever. It only does two of four. This does all four. So if you have a big enough map, it's definitely a, uh, there's definitely a use there. All right, let's go and check out one of our two trailers here. So this is a 50-footer. Okay. Unlock load. So it's got a lock script on it. Of course, now the question would be, how did Blazy get it up there? Well, obviously on a farm like this with all the hills, I just back it up to a hill. Um, we're not clipping into it anywhere. Um, I could also get a the the mods with the the ramps. I could ramp it. That would be fine. But I don't know. I'm just sort of. I mean, a flatbed is great. Don't get me wrong. A flatbed is a great thing to have. If you have a way to get your equipment up on there, um, also you can fork it on there. You can use uh, like a man the Manitou or one of those to forklift something up on there. It would be great for that as well. Let's unhook it. See, now that one is right. See how it, it properly registers the ground. That one over there is kind of ticking me off, how it didn't register the ground. Um, but there you go. That's a 50-foot flatbed. Simple, simple flatbed. I mean, a, it does what it advertises. It's a big flatbed. All right. This one also has a lock script. The step thing does make it a little bit... Um, well, it makes it more along the, the vein of the um, 
the Goldhofer. That's the word. That's the truck uh, trailer I was trying to think of. Makes it more along the vein of the Goldhofer in that um, you've seen that I'll, I'll put something up on the top of the Goldhofer and then I can put other stuff down in the lower section. Now here, of course, there's a step instead of a ramp, so that could be problematic. Still, I can fork stuff onto here. I could fork stuff onto the back, too. I don't... Unless I have a mod or a hilly terrain. I don't know. Let's try something. Let me just be crazy, because... Well, because I am crazy. <laughs> All right. it's going to be too high. I was kind of thinking maybe that the tractor would crawl up on there, but I think so. Nope. Let's try. Oop. Rid of that. See if it'll, if it'll crawl now. Will you crawl, tractor? Crawl for me, tractor! I'm not going to make it. No. Nope. 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 All right. It was just a thought. Okay, so, yeah, these two flatbeds, you know, there's nothing, like, terribly, terribly wrong with them. They're flatbeds. They do flatbedy things. Problem is, here on Farming Simulator, what are you going to need, what are you going to use a flatbed for? Well, obviously you can lock hay bales and pallets on here, but when you think about it, I could technically use the cat trailer, the cat flatbed, and get the auto load feature. Which is easier. Um, I certainly could go get a ramp and ramp these things. And then um, we'd have that. That works too. Okay, those two have good. Good thing. That one, I, this one is pissing me off. I'm going to go diving in the ground like that. Silly thing. Um, but I think their use is of limited value. It's, it's of limited use to most people. Certainly if you have a use for 50 foot flatbed or a 48 footer or whatever these two things are, um, these look really nice. You can't clip through them. Can't really see anything wrong with them. I also can't see myself using them very often, but that is just me. All right, let's go get the case only because I'm tired of driving the John Deere. I did discover that uh, that case, or those two cases, and that case in here, that guy in there, they just don't have a, a hitch necessary for these kind of trailers. So um, when I say these, I mean these cane trailers. So just be aware of that. All right, so that's the silage trailer. I'm not going to mess with the silage trailer. Oh, look, they're in the perfect order, too. I'm not going to mess with the silage trailer because I don't have silage. But this is my half pipe. X. Look at that. Bodywork change. Cool. So that's the tall bodywork. Let's go and get whatever this is. I think it's the barley. Hello? No barley? No barley. Wait a minute. Did I just derp? <laughs> Half pipe. No, it says barley right there. Let's take that off a minute. Let's try wheat then. I really could care less. Okay, so wheat worked like that. Okay, you're done. You don't need to fill that up. Thank you. All right, let's get that out of there. Ah, uh, nice clamshell right there. Yeah, that's nice. Cool with that, I'm cool with that. All right. Okay, now we're gonna put that on. Now we're gonna go back under the weed again. I think I know what might be up, but we're gonna find out. All right, wheat. Ha 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 ha, yeah. 
All right, so when I put the wheat on, I am probably limited to chaff and grass. That is my bet. There's a beacon on here. Oh, look, it's got a beacon. Oh, it's a cute little beacon. All right. So it looks like that extra body work um, only holds certain products, not all product. I don't think that was really stated out front here. No. Oh, so add silage size. Yeah, it says right there. No. Question is, can I put chaff in there as well in grass and wind, grass windrow? I don't know. I don't actually have any. So, yeah, just be aware. There you go. Nothing really wrong with that. Just read the uh, read the writing on the box there, Dare. Okay. All right. So the, these all look to be very similar in style. I'm betting that other one will work just the same. It's a little bit smaller. Um, but these are, of course, you know, the cane trailers. These, these are trailers for your tractors to haul around. It also has a beacon. Aw, it's so cute. That sort of looks like it has a hitch. Is that a real hitch back there? Is that a real hitch or a fake hitch? Lord knows we have enough fake hitches around here. All right, let's go and see if we can make a cane trailer train. Ha ha ha, I can make a cane trailer train. Woo. Now, can I, can I hook that? I can hook that up. Oh my goodness, I can make a train of canes. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get around here. Woo. All right, so yeah. Awesome, that's, that's cool. Oh, I'm going to hit beacon. Then I've got, look at that, I got all these extra beacons going on. That's awesome. That's just awesome sauce. All right. Turn that off. Okay. So the cane trailers are nice looking. Uh, nothing really that I can see that would be a, a problem with them. Look at that, it hooks in there. It doesn't hook. Well, maybe that's the right spot, but whatever. Um, you can also daisy chain them, which is always a nice touch when you can daisy chain your trailers. Ah, oh, it's so nice. That's awesome. All right. Then we have the 50, 50, 50. I don't remember. Let's look. <laughs> yeah, we had the 50 foot and a 48 foot. So we had the 50 foot flatbed and a 48 Mac step bed. Um, good looking, nice looking flatbeds. Uh, if you need a flatbed, I, I want them with ramps because I'm lazy and I'm also a terrible, uh, front loader driver and forklift driver. And I don't feel like loading, unloading these things. If you have the, uh, ramps the, they'll work with ramps. They'll also work here on this, uh, right over there. Um, there where that, that road comes down really sharply. I could probably back up these guys and then drive onto the back and it wouldn't be that bad. I just don't feel like it. So there you go. Those two trailers, good, but I, I find limited use. This one kind of annoys me because it's going into the ground. Yeah, um, but it is of use on large maps. When you're talking large scale maps, this allows you to uh, position seed, fertilizer, spray and fuel away from your main farm, which can be a great asset to you um, on those kind of places. Um, and you can't clip through anything. It has a fold unfold, but I don't know what the heck the fold unfold is supposed to do. Maybe the author can tell me. What is that supposed to do? Um, yeah, and then we have the, let's go into here, all the way back to zippers. We have the Cornhusker 800. It looked really nice. It's just you can clip through the entire trailer. That really makes me sad. Uh, but it is a belly dumper, which uh, some people have been looking for. And overall, it's, it doesn't look like a terrible um, trailer. I wish it was. I wish it was rigid instead of ghost trailer. We also attempted to look at these Merit Heritage trailers, and for whatever reason, I got stuck in Infinite Loop Lua script, and they never really worked. So I can't really tell you much about them. Um, I am going to remove them because I can't deal with that, and I'm not going to try to troubleshoot it. This is the one of the mods, so maybe V2 will fix that. All right, so um, a, 
a sort of a half fail, half not fail episode of uh, Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlights, where we covered a whole bunch of trailers. How about that? All right, until next time, Stair Tubbers. We're here at Westbridge Hills. Is that right, Westbridge? Yeah, Westbridge Hills Farm for our 2000, uh, Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight Season 4. And I don't know what episode this is, and it doesn't really matter because it says up top. <laughs> Till next episode. Bye. <laughs>